post office. I was gonna ride my bike, but I think I have a big box waiting for me. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing I didn't ride my bike. Total weight, 15 pounds. Alrighty guys, what's up? Turn my Trivium off right here. Shout out to Trivium for the new album. It's pretty sick, check it out guys. Anyways, I'm running late for class, but I just got done with my morning ride. It is, it's Wednesday, yeah. Shout out to all that salt again. Getting nice and salty. Anyways, Alpha Amino, before my rise in the morning, oh my goodness guys. I'm gonna put the information up on the screen right here. I just had a killer ride. 10 repeats on the steepest hill. Um, it's it's power is absolutely insane right now. I just um, I still I'm gonna I'm experiment a little bit more with the product, but it is it's making a huge difference for me right now. So um, taking it before uh, right when I wake up with my water, I get a lot of water in the morning, and just taking a, a scoop with it, and then going for a ride is absolutely just it's mind blowing right now. So. Um, and trust me, I'm not exaggerating or anything. I'm being completely honest with you guys. Like I said earlier, it's honesty is very important with me and this is a huge uh, deal breaker for me. So stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. Peace. Alrighty, guys, just got back from class. So right now I'm going to go because I have a package. I also just got a PO box. So I'll be putting that information up right here. Feel free to send me everything. I really like presents. And we are here at the post office. Now the description says candy and noodles. I wonder what's in here. It's always nice when you get a note, a handwritten one. Boy spaghetti. Boom. Um, not really sure what this is. I think it's Vegan? I don't know. I think that's vegan meat? I don't know. Well, these look really good. I've definitely had these before. It's insane, guys. More candy. Oh my goodness, these look so good. Absolutely amazing. No idea, but. And I think this is a chocolate egg. Looks like a chocolate egg. Jeez, it's insane. There's candy for days. I think this is a milk chocolate. Oh, it kind of slid open on me. Tropical Hawaiian Hawaiian candy. Shout out to Germany. You guys have the best candy ever. So, that looks bomb. Um, I think these are more chocolates. I can't read any. I can't read any of this. Sorry, Germans. Hazelnut. They have like everything in this. It's like assorted chocolate that looks delicious. Oh, I want to go to Germany. Chocolate cocoa biscuits looks like. Oh, these look amazing. Like a swirl, like a cinnamon, or it looks like just like a. Yeah, like a swirl, like a cinnamon swirl type thing. This looks like a sweet bread. I've never seen this before. But I'm wondering why we don't have it in America. I'm running out of space on my table, I think. So good. So this looks like... Pizza crust? Or pizza, yeah. I might actually use this tonight. Easy pizza kit or something like that. I think it's just the flour. Yogurt chocolate. Cracker type thing. These are like chocolate with like, like a wafer kinda. Crackers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, chocolate. This is like chocolate pretzels, I think. Maturity, not even once. Um, toffee, this looks insane too. Just a 
basic chocolate bar. And last but not least, we have this right there. But I just want to read, hopefully she's okay with it from Anna, or Anne, I think. Um, she says, hello, Eric, and here it is, the package from Germany, but, but at first, I love your videos and your personality. Please keep going. I come from an eating disorder, and you are so motivated to fight against the disorder and to eat. Your videos are very helpful for learning things about, your, your videos are very helpful for learning things about riding the bike and for fitness. Your challenges are so cool. I love them. In the box, you'll find some delicious candies. I hope you'll be enjoying them. Now it's in your head to create a German candy challenge. Eat big and enjoy the tasks. You'll also find some whole grain noodles and spelt grain pizza pastry flour. I hope you'll like them. And of course, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Best greetings, and Talk about a loyal subscriber right here. Just got back from class and I got a little delivery. Shout out to the guys over at Rogue Fitness. So, to get straight to the point, I lost one of my knee sleeves, uh, I wanna say about, probably about three months ago. So I haven't really been squatting that that heavy ever since. So I'm excited to finally get back to heavy squatting again. Size medium, for now at least. Alrighty guys, it's about four, 4 p.m. My first time stacking C4 and Alpha Amino. Let's see how it goes. Alrighty guys, so you're watching my session from earlier this week. I'm actually gonna be putting two back to back. So this is gonna be one that was from Wednesday. I just did some uh, some light front squats and then moved on to some pressing. I did some flat bench and everything like that and it actually felt pretty good. Um, front squats, I'm really not gonna actually do too much front squatting anymore. That's actually the main movement I was doing for legs for a long time. So that being said, um, I'm actually going to be moving over to my back squats now and focusing on those as I move on into this bulk, if you will say. Um, essentially that's what I've been doing, except, except I've really been prioritizing my cycling over my uh, resistance training and it's going to switch as the uh, year goes on and uh, into January and February, just to see you know, what it's really like to be actually moving into full on um, gym sessions again, as opposed to two, three hour rides. But lately they've actually been shorter rides, which I've been really liking. So uh, one hour power based rides, as opposed to longer rides. Don't really have the time for longer rides anymore. That being said, uh, moving into squatting, it actually felt amazing being in these sleeves again and actually moving into heavy squats so to right now, 245, 255 is gonna be where I'm at in terms of my squatting potential. Um, 265, I think I could get for uh, probably a, a triple right now. And I'm not going to be using a belt or anything like that on my squats. I feel like uh, that's done wonders for me in terms of improving my core strength. And so I wanna keep it that way. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. And I feel uh, pretty good with how these went yesterday. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna keep it right there. Other than that, that's it for training. Stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. See ya. Oh, and they even got a sticker, too. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> all righty guys so i'm about to give the special k fruit and yogurt cereal a try i've never tried this before i think i've had the cinnamon pecan and uh the chocolate one but i've never had the fruit and yogurt so it's gonna be something different than checks for once let's get to it No smell. So it's like a yogurt cluster right here. So it looks to be pretty good. All right, you guys, now we're gonna try out this bad boy.
definitely can taste that yogurt coming through. I think they actually sweeten the flakes with the yogurt clusters too. Really solid crunch to it. I like this one a lot better than the cinnamon pecan. Um, actually, I think there's like little bits of raisins in here too. Oh yeah, granola bits of raisin in there. So pretty good. Now, I definitely think this is a cereal that is gonna be great if you like it to um, soak a little bit because the milk will soak up all that yogurt, the yogurt clusters or whatever, and it makes it really sweet. I have checks on my radar next. But the next one is gonna be a Chex, for sure. The shades are on point, guys. On point. Alrighty guys, closing out the video right now. Just wanted to let everybody know that I'm doing absolutely amazing right now. I uh, Probably one of the best days in a long, long time today. Um, mainly with, with sales and everything like that. I got a huge, huge sales day, which is really what I need, or needed I should say right now. Um, also want to say too that I have a lot coming up uh, just in terms of work, in terms of school, everything. And um, you know, so I'm not gonna be putting out as many videos as frequently. Um, so I just want to let, it, let you guys know that, uh, you know, it's just, it's one of those things I, I do have, I have priorities in life and school and my work are, that's, that are, those are my top two. And, uh, you know, YouTube over the past, I want to say over the past month to two months, to be completely honest with you guys, it's just, it's in a sense, it's felt like a second job, you know, I don't really want to feel like I have to, um, you know, come home every night and balance editing and um, vlogging or video logging, vlogging, whatever you want to say, vlogging, editing with homework, with uh, stress, and I don't want to feel like I have a second job. I want this to be fun, and that's why I got into YouTube. It's because it's fun. So, that being said, um, I do have, uh, challenge-wise, a few stuff coming up as well, so stay tuned for that, and also, um, you know, just more in general. I'm really excited for the new year. I'm really motivated right now, and I'm really happy. So that's the biggest thing. Hope you guys like the video and stay tuned for the next one. See you guys. Gimli, it's like Christmas. Christmas, dude. Hello, oh, saw you for Shout out to all the beautiful people over at Cellucor.